Star lived her life. I keep seeing the faces of her enemies. There were six of them. Tigers. I killed them. Freed my empire. These are not your memories. You are not Shao Yun. The box or the shard did this. I witnessed the things this technology can do. You have to remain yourself, Anastasia. You have to shut her out. Can you fix me? We will do what we can. First, we stop at Kazan. A friend will help us leave Moscow. There, my brotherhood has people who will know what to do. Your friends are... Narodnia Volya. They hate my friends. I have a daughter, and we are not in the business of murdering children. What's happening? Stay here. Do not let her take control. I will be back. You have my word. Well, this is, um, what's going on now, I guess. I mean, thinking about it, though, is this actual literal possession? Is it the spirit of Xiao Yun? Or is it the bleeding effect? Is it, you know, the thing that Desmond and Subject 16 were suffering from, where, uh, the, by experiencing the memories of these other, you know, assassins, they would kind of have these personalities mesh together. And that is strange that the command doesn't seem- Oh, no, it was just late, I guess. Wait. Because the command should be working. Is Nightbot just, like, taking a chill pill right now? Oh, there we go. Jeez. I don't know. Well, I guess maybe I have the magic touch or something like that. Because thinking closer to, you know, what might be more tried and true for, you know, Assassin's Creed stuff, is it might just be the bleeding effect, potentially. If maybe the box and the crystal works somehow as an animus, where it's like, Rather than being possessed by Xiaoyun, maybe she just got Xiaoyun's memorized and, you know, memorized memories and is now undergoing the bleeding effect, is the case. Oh, so that was an I rather than an explanation point, is the case. Um, the train of revolution, September 1918, on a train to Kazan. Orlov understood that the shard and the box change Anastasia. It's either possession or the bleeding effect. Uh, she is in connection with an assassin from the past, Xiaoyun of the Chinese Brotherhood of Assassins, the protagonist of the first Chronicles game. Disturbed by this phenomenon and feeling guilty of the trauma, Orlov decided to bring the girl to the assassins who might be able to cure her. Don't worry, to cure her of the bleeding effect? Hmm. Well... So, eliminate all guards for Anastasia. What, we can't just be chilling back there and stuff? Alright, so boobity bop. So this is a train level. This is actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. Yeah, I gotcha, gotcha there. Whoops. Okay, thank goodness that doesn't hit me. This is actually a pretty cool level. Not gonna lie, from what I'm seeing so far. Okay, yeah, there's guards on the train. Okay. Okay. Whee! So, I'm in here now, I guess. <laughs> I'm chilling in here now. So, I'll probably eliminate the last guy in the row. <coughs> I was kind of hoping that guy wouldn't look over. But yeah. Now we just see battles on top of motorcycles? What, to have like the ultimate coolness thing or Bob? Or is this a reference to some sort of other game? Can I... Okay, I can do that. And then I can probably just like jump assassinate the last guy in the row. Oh, they're together! Gosh dang, they're quite literally inseparable. Whoa! <laughs> Imagine coming in for an air assassination and just getting like a headshot on your way down. <laughs> yeah, for cool is saying it would be pretty cool. Let's face it, it would definitely be pretty neat there, do you have to say? No, not what I wanted to do even. What? I, I don't even know what's going on. Wait, of the trilogy, you like the India ones because of the rom-com segment? In what way is it comedy, though? Wait, what? 
Look at this straight. A child is turned into an adult by magic and has the ability she couldn't do beforehand. It's literally Shazam. I think that it might just be the Assassin's Creed bleeding effect. So it might actually be. That the box and gem worked like an animus in some way where she inherited those memories. Gosh dang it! How do I do this? <laughs> that NPC that headshots you is probably the as smartest NPC Ubisoft ever programmed. That's what it's feeling like. He's able to get it consistently. It just like headshots me on my way down. Rather than looking up and being like, oh no, an assassin's about to air assassinate me. He just immediately turns his rifle up and freaking headshots me. No! <laughs> and then that guy immediately turns around and headshots me. <laughs> like, they don't, uh, they don't take any chances. They're not just like, alright, I'm gonna point and aim for 3,000 years. Or something like that. They just turn and shoot. They just have at it. That's the case. Alright. I don't think I'd be able to win by doing nothing, though. You see nothing! No! No! Okay, come on. I can win this, right? Oh, that means three shots, okay. Yeah, they, they do definitely have some really crazy accuracy there. That is definitely very noteworthy. My goodness. Very much a crack shot here. <sighs> yeah, these guards are pretty mean. No, come on! Come on! Air assassin! Gosh darn you! Oh, okay. Friendly fire, I guess. Okay. No! Come on! Please! Come on, please! Please! Yes! Oh my goodness, that was like a, um, uh, Assassin's Creed America's Trilogy shoot counter thing revolved there. That was neat. Well... Red Army Assault Guard is only vulnerable to melee combat or assassinations. Ranged attacks will not work against them. I honestly forgot I even had the option for ranged attacks. I'm gonna be honest. No! Alright, now I know that that means four. No! Come on! But yeah, so the dumb NPC killed the actual competent NPC. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. The dumb one turned around and shot the uh, greatest asset that trio had to their squad. One. Yeah, guards are actually really mean in the Chronicles games. Like, my goodness gracious. Some of the meanest guards in the Assassin's Creed series, honestly. Oh, come on! No! No! Can I assassinate from here? Gosh dang it. Well. No! Come on, please. Stabby stab. This is fine, right? I think, probably. No! Gosh dang it. But yeah. Third gunman needs to just be knocked out that he gets a spin-off game. So powerful he is and what a crack shot he is. <coughs> okay, maybe I just need to like do this. And then uh do that. Maybe all I had to do. And then, do that. Okay. Alright, that's a good way to start. So I'm gonna have to eliminate all the guards. So maybe I go in through this way. Ah! All the sniffles. You see nothing. Woo! That was close. You suspect nothing. Being really sensitive of one slap of the rifle is enough to kill- yeah. There's one little smackaroo and I just instantly die. It's not- it's not great being this paper thin. I'd be able to kill this guy as he goes by. Yup! <laughs> this guy's just like, what the heck happened? Well... No! They really don't hesitate. Holy crap. No! Oh, come on! Well. Do that. You do not see me. 
Well. <laughs> Stabby stab. And we go this way. And we go down here. To both the window after killing dude NPC. What? Where is he gone? We may never know, but the moment he does actually see me, he just like instantly shoots me. Stab. Stab. <laughs> okay. Well, if he sees me, he's just gonna shoot immediately. But I can do this if he's looking at the body, right? Oh, come on. Please. Come on! I was pressing up, trying to move towards him and smack him. And I went into the hiding spot. Well. Alright, so do this. I have a route in mind. I have a route in mind for this now. So do that. And then this guy jumps over this way. Don't lose him. And then he's gonna turn around. Like that. And then he gets stabbed in the butt. Oh, not that time. Oh my goodness. Just... <laughs> okay. And we go here. And we go here. And then we stab. And then we stab. And... Th All right. Oh, and we do this. And we go ahead and murderize that guy like that. The guards are really, really mean in this game. Like, my goodness gracious. So wait for that guy to turn around. And then he gets stabby stabbed. Like that. And then we go this way. And then that guy gets stabbed. And then we go this way. And then this guy gets stabbed. I wish. I wish I could throw them off the train. If this is one of the mainline 3D games, you'd probably be able to. If this was Syndicate, you'd definitely be able to. Be able to kick them off the train, even. That was so much fun in Syndicate. Identify yourself. No, how about I don't? Alright, I know how to deal with these two top guys easy peasy now, at least. I do that. I just punch him in the butt two times and then, uh, and then stabby stab. Alright. You see nothing. No, he definitely didn't. <coughs> he definitely did not, matter of fact. No. Run back over this way. It's that middle guy that I'm gonna have to figure out how to deal. Wait, maybe I can just shoot him. Like, maybe I can go in that right window and then just shoot him from afar or something. I wonder if that's a solution here. Because he should be the last guy in this group. So if I just go, say, here, can I just, like... Okay, that's the solution. That's it. <laughs> well, I might need another ammo now. Because I just used that. I might need some uh, bullets. Let's see if they have some bullets for me. Sweet. Alright. Well. That group is finally dealt with. My good gracious. Whee. Alrighty. Train level is pretty cool though. You have to say. That's pretty neato. Whee. Alright. Yeah. Good if you had failed again. You would have requested off admits. <laughs> The pain. Enemies wearing gas masks are not affected by smoke grenades. Oh, I honestly don't really use smoke grenades much anyway. I don't think I'm- Wait, can I assassinate him through the electric fence? Because I just throw my rope dart through, right? Good. Good. I can reach through there without getting electrocuted. Good, good, good. Oh, nice. They're separating. You'd love to see it. <laughs> All right. And then we, um... Okay, I'll wait for the alert to go away. And then I'll stabby stab. Did someone just get electrocuted? What the heck was that? Someone just, like, run right into the electric fence? Something like that? Imagine being an oven bit wearing assassin. <laughs> Maybe they, uh... They did run into it! Look at this! Someone ran into it! And now they're getting alerted to the body that freaking ran into the electric fence. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Well. No, why is it saying that like I completed this area? I have not eliminated all the guys here yet. 
Why would he run into that? That's like off the train. Was he? <laughs> was just like, oh my goodness, there's an assassin around here. I gotta get out of here. And he tried to run out and he got electrocuted or something. I'm so confused. My goodness gracious. So, well, that's a way in, I guess. Doesn't look like there's anyone else that's out and about patrolling. I can go into here because this one is also destroyed for some reason. I don't know why. Um, we'll create it. Oh! Oh! Okay, so no rifle here. Huh? Is what you're telling me. Don't use the rifle in here. Yeah, I see. There's a reason they're wearing gas masks. I get it now. All right. Well, so do that. What does this do? What does this do? Does that just turn off the gas? I don't know what that did. I honestly have no idea. It's fair to say that Cypher 3 was the leader. Everyone else is disorganized without him. Some of them <coughs> are still pretty mean. <coughs> but they're, you know... Not super smart if they're running into electric fences. I'm gonna have one of these, like, you know, cough candies. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it opened the door. Oh, I just went around the door for no reason. I can get this bag open. Yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. My goodness gracious. Let's see if that helps things along. Oh, I'm gonna go get my water from the other room. I forgot my water bottle by my bedside. Wah. So, now I have my water handy. In fact, maybe I should have a sip. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Cypher 3, he really was a total badass, wasn't he? Yeah, I should definitely drink lots of fluids throughout this, uh, throughout this event. <laughs> Snipe bro? <laughs> was this an aim? Snipe bro will never be forgotten. Well, I had to reload that, I guess. I what? Oh, is that one of the guys I can't use range things against? He also has a gas mask. Reggie Bump redeemed to name a Pokemon. What? To freaking name Sniper 3? <laughs> is that what that is? So... What? Okay, there we go. Alright, that's an electric fence there. So, is the case. Ah! Nah! Gosh dang it! Also, why is the kill screen like so long sometimes? Other times it just goes away like a moment after. Like a perfectly cut screen. Thank goodness you can't see this far. Wee! I mean, maybe I can just double assassinate from here because they're distracted. Okay, I can just do that. What? That wasn't a double assassinate! What the? What the heck? Oh, come on! Okay, that works. That works A-OK. -okay. Alright. Okay. Everything is A-OK. -okay. <coughs> oh, man. Is this a hiding spot? It looks like it would be, but it's not. One of those ones that you could dip into. The excuse to use some points, this is the prime time for Snipe Bro. To name Snipe Bro there. I mean, now that there is another Pokemon playthrough going on, you know, name a Pokemon is actually a usable point redeem now that the Scarlet playthrough is going on and stuff. Bam. Alright, well. The rifle in this carriage will create an explosion. Can I use that strategically? Can I just, you know, shoot a bullet into there and blow everything up? I guess I could if it was a 3D game, but I probably can't here. No! Gosh dang it! I probably can't shoot into the carriage. I probably have to be in it. It would probably blow me up as well then. Somebody dead? Most likely. Well, time to die. I see him. Uh oh. No. No! Please! Can I hit this guy maybe? Does he need to come out into like this plane? Or something like that? Come on, please. 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 Please, good sir. I pressed the counter button, I swear. This is stacking up your 60k points in the hope that they will gain value someday like cryptocurrency. <laughs> I keep on thinking about other potential rewards that can be done. 
but, you know, it's hard to come up with things that aren't, you know, adding more games to my schedule or doing things that interrupt the flow of the stream or things that, you know, anybody watching on YouTube after the fact wouldn't understand. You know, if I'm suddenly doing something out of nowhere. Actually, wait, I can just, like... Never mind. He's faster at sniping me than I was him. You know, don't spend that there when you join one of those streams. Alrighty. We already have some, uh... Some interesting characters in Scarlet and Violet. Boop it bop. Like, so far we have, uh... If I switch over here, it'll lag because it loads a bunch of images. We have Lestonks. We have Reddit, since that looks like the Reddit alien. We have Ray Tracing, because Eagle wanted to name it after things that aren't in the game, but he wishes was. Um, I wasn't sure what the heck there for the electric one, so I was just like, oh, let's just use the Sparks of Hope font and freaking write Spark, I guess, because, you know, electric spark, I guess, or something, and then I can have an excuse to use the Sparks of Hope font. Gosh dang it! Let's say you tier list, and have you ranked them during stream? Tier, wait, of like whatever game is being played, because it sounds interesting, but also sounds like something that would like interrupt stream flow. Is also the thing. It'd be like if that gets redeemed, then all of a sudden, like right at this moment, one whole part is gonna have to be dedicated to that. All of a sudden. Actually, I can I can probably just run up and do this now. Okay, so do that. Okay, so the power's out. 100,000 points to call the Spanish Inquisition? But what exactly would that do? What exactly would that be? Your rifle in this carriage will create an explosion. Yeah, I wasn't planning on shooting my rifle in this carriage. Time to die! So away we go. Look, we're almost there. We're at 21 out of 25, so we're almost there. Yeah, so it's really hard to come up with a Ah! Oh my goodness, that almost took me out. <laughs> that random sign, like, smacked me. It tapped me. I'm surprised it didn't knock me off completely there. Okay. There we go. Why was some of my health briefly missing there? Wait, so who's the one guy that I missed? The heck? Sure, do that. So... Is there just like some last standalone dudo over here or something? Some head honcho? Or something? Must be, right? Yeah, one du Oh, it's a machine gun dudo. Of course it would be. Does he not see me yet? Okay, um... Oh, he's doing that! Okay, I see now. But yeah, though you do want to see a Xenoblade Chronicles pretty butt tier list sometime. After how much that game was constantly, you know, making its camera go crazy and put the character's butts right in our faces when we went into a new area. <laughs> Just make a freaking tier list of it. <laughs> Alright, um... Wait, do I just like... Whoa, what happened to the audio? That's... Oh. Oh, because it was like indoors. Because I'm in here now. Okay. I see. So open the door. And then, okay. I see now. Okay, so you just quit being on his machine gun. He's just like, yeah, I put that life behind me. I'm just gonna wander around aimlessly and hope that that assassin I was shooting at isn't here gonna stab me or anything like that. Well. Okay, cool. We did the thing. Neat. Well. <laughs> Falcon kick. she is. I will not let that happen. Well, it's still showing some of my UI. Is the level not over then yet? Oh, it's not over yet. Oh, that's like a freaking tank train! Oh my good gracious. Yeah, he got freaking this is Sparta. Oh! Oh! It's one of these! I have thought about sound effect redeems, but, you know, if it was just like a Twitch channel points thing, I wouldn't have any way to turn it off during cutscenes, I don't think. Is where the concern lies. Okay, so yeah, I see now. Oh my good gracious! Also, I, 
doesn't have to just be the red. I can climb anything, apparently. Oh, wow. Okay, this is actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. Oh, my good gracious. I wasn't sure if I could... Huh? I was about to say I wasn't sure if I could slide under that, but apparently I can. But it's just like all the escape sequences in this trilogy, it seems like you have to be, like, basically perfect. Yeah. I have to play perfect. It sounds like a great moment for oven mitts. Do you actually want to redeem oven mitts here, Nishara? Because you can if you want to. <laughs> if you so choose. My good gracious! Just say the word if so. But yeah. Wow. What even? Oh, I guess I need to slide under those. It's so hard to see what's happening. It's so difficult to see. Oh, okay. So jump. It's also kind of hard to tell, like, what fire is just in the background enough that it doesn't affect me. Like, fire is in the foreground. Okay, yeah, slide under that. My goodness. This is insane. I can't see what's going on with these explosions. No! Oh, well, apparently it doesn't kill me. I tried to slide, but I didn't hit it soon enough. Okay, this way we go. Wow, Assassin's Creed directed by Michael Bay. Gosh dang it! You really have to be basically perfect. My goodness gracious. It's so loud! It's so dang loud! <laughs> Kaboom. Alright, then slide under that. But yeah, you would like to request oven mitts? Yeah. Well, <laughs> guess we're doing oven mitts for a little bit. The thing where Bob has been redeemed. <laughs> My good gracious. Also, wait, looking at that bar, was there a donation that I missed? It's showing top donor right now. When it goes to- Oh! There was! I don't know how much I missed that by- I appreciate the $50 donation there! My goodness gracious, I don't know how much I missed that by. That was probably a little while back. Oops. I guess I got distracted with everything that's going on here. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oopsie doopsie. Because I looked at the bar, it's like, that's further ahead than the last time I looked. Alright, well, here we go. Well, I hit it a little bit early, but it's fine. Okay, up. Up, up, and away. Alright. This away we go. I'm going so dang fast. It's in slow-mo now. Uh. Oh my good gracious. My, oh my. Um. This is a lot of destruction to kill one person, isn't it? Oh, but ow. Thank goodness that doesn't insta-kill me. you think that it would. But apparently it doesn't. No, you better not. No! Oh! There's like nothing left here to climb on. Basically. Alright. Oh, and there's a bunch of riflemen here. What is happening here? Oh, it's another slow-mo thing. Kaboom! Oh! It's, uh, it's Mr. Dudo. Pim -a -pew. Okay. Well, put on oven mitts and it actually works out a okay. Wow. <laughs> Look at his legendary stash. I'm fine. Thank you for keeping your word. It was a bit janky, but not gonna lie, it was actually kind of a cool level. <laughs> yeah, the oven bit suddenly increased my skill, huh? Is kind of what happened. Alright, well, <laughs> next level, I guess. 